Right, now I think for the final run of this first stream, I am going to hunt a most dread, vile, and vicious prey. A chicken. Yes, a pressing plea from the pitiful Mr. Wilson. So, all I have to do is deliver a shipment. Let's have a look at this map. Golden Sands Outpost, one white feathered chicken and one golden chicken. Okay. Your assignments of crates can be collected from any merchant. Very well, let's collect my crates. Collect chicken coop. Ah. I have to go and catch the chicken, don't I? Well, I could retry the first quest, but honestly, catching a chicken looks more interesting. One chicken coop. One white feathered chicken and one golden chicken. The question is, where am I going to get chickens? I suspect the answer is on Chicken Island. There is a certain uh, symmetry to the idea somehow. Of course, I could be completely wrong about this, and I may well have to acquire the chicken from somewhere else. However, I think I need two chicken coops, so let's go and get the other one. Also, it would perhaps help if I was not getting hung up on the docks. As opposed to getting hung on the docks, which is what happens when the East India Company gets hold of you. And you haven't paid them off. Or you aren't Captain Jack Sparrow. Maybe. Eventually. Very eventually. Right. Two chicken coops. Now all I need are the chickens. They're dumb birds. How hard could this be? Don't answer that question, by the way, guys. Okay. One white feather chicken and one golden chicken. I have no idea where to acquire these, so let's start with the obvious chicken isle. I mean, it's called chicken isle. There should be chickens on it, right? Right? I mean, I'm not missing anything obvious here, am I? Like the fact that if I attempt to manoeuvre at this point, I am going to proceed to smack into the dock again. Okay, so rudder full starboard. Anchor is down. Let's use a little bit of sail just to get manoeuvring. And sail's completely into the wind, so we're in, we're in irons at the moment. Taking her back, swing her round. Okay, right. Raise anchor. Get ready to start pumping again. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho. Yo ho. Crunch? No. Right. Okay, due south to Chicken Island, which I suspect is not actually called Chicken Island because it's full of chickens. It's because it's called Chicken Island because no sane person would actually go there because, well, they're all too chicken. And I appear to have a bathing problem again. Right. Bail. Bail like you never bailed before. I need to figure out, well, which bit of the hole got bent this time. That's patched. That's patched. Uh, it's not, doesn't seem to be flooding. Might just have been the angle of the boat. 
no matter. Trek course. And chicken aisle. Right, so take a look. Steer south southeast at Cannon Cove. Past Wanderer's Refuge, and then Chicken Isle is straight ahead. Okay. Well, that must be Cannon Cove. Oh, looky, it's the storm again. Lucky me. And, oh, check the wind trim. Wind's backed round. Kind of helps, actually. I can just run with it at this point. There we are. Wind's got the angle. Head full. Probably we stuck on planks. All set there. Bananas are fine. All I have to do is go down to Chicken Island, pick up some chickens. Why am I fooling myself here? Okay, heading past Plunder Cannon Cove. Yes, that very definitely looks like a fun place, doesn't it? Basic docks, a few other things. Hmm. Then I wanted to turn south south east, go past Wanderer's Refuge. And that's pretty much a straight course south south east to Chicken Island. So check change course. Gentle port rudder. Hard port rudder in fact. Then meet her. Okay, course south south east set. Adjust the sails. Full speed ahead. Definitely need a crew, yes. I will be endeavouring to find one. Um, I'm pretty sure several of the other WoW's contributors are interested in this game. Whether I can get them to sign up to it is another matter. In sign up and put up with me is another matter entirely. So it does make you appreciate the crow's nest, the solitude, life on the ocean wave, no women, bad food, brutal discipline, shipmates pulling the plank out from underneath you after you've grabbed the hat in the promotion ceremony, all those things. Oh, and the wind's backed again. Alright, trim the sails. Have to keep a constant fill on that. What worries me is that, am I saving, am I catching up on that storm? Hmm. I don't like the look of that at all. That's a past the Wanderer's Refuge. Anything worth checking out? Honestly, looks like it could either be loads of fun in there or loads of pain. I suspect. Effect. <gasps> Excuse me, that rum apparently had some real life effects. But uh, it might be both. Scurvy, rickets, syphilis, yep, that's life. And don't forget the splinter wounds. And we're not talking those little splitters either, we're talking things about a metre across. Anyhow, check my course. Right, I need to come another 10 degrees to the east in order to make Chicken Isle. So, hold her there, should do the trick. Trimmer chips. Trim again. Yeah, and this, this weather is definitely getting worse. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wonder which version will do better. Honestly, they're cr they have cross-play ranges, so I, it doesn't matter. Both versions are 
quite capable of playing with each other, apparently. So everyone's in the same kind of universe. Oh, hang on, what's this? Let go of the anchor. Heal in. What are those? Barrels! Salvage! Legitimate salvage as well! I didn't even have to sink the previous owners. Let's have a look. What do we got? It's... I'm not sure if it's Flotsam or Jetsam. Okay, wooden planks. Cannibals. Right, good opportunity to restock the ship here, but... Um, oh, wow. Yeah, is this... Oh, God, is this wise? <laughs> is sailing into this storm... Wow, wow she just broached. Uh... Yes, I'm thinking I might want to check downstairs as well. Good so far. Let's, uh... Let's store the planks. And then go and get some more. Eesh. I do not like the idea of being hove... Well, I sp technically I suppose being hove to in this is actually as safe as it gets. Um, it's if you run sailing wind like this that you risk being dismasted. Uh, but... Ugh. Nothing to do, I think, but heave to and wait this out. There's the salvage, though. I don't think the storm's getting any... Watch... Let's just watch the stars. Okay, I think the storm might be heading away from us. I mean, that's a good thing. Just watch those stars. You see that cluster of three? Three over there. Yeah, the storm is heading away. Right, do another check downstairs. Make sure we're not any more awash than we were. Uh, it's a little bit squelchy, but still good. Right, let's go... Let's go check this salvage out. So there were planks, cannonballs... Yes, that would have been a very lucky break. Okay, stocked up on planks. That one's empty. More plank. Cannonballs. Empty. Don't think it's going to come with much else of interest, so... Good opportunity to stock up. Oh, okay. Um, Take a quick bang. Yes, yeah, Storm, I think, is still heading away. Doesn't mean the waves aren't getting any rougher, mind you. Oh, boy. Right, I have got to get her moving. If she goes... If she broaches any more than that, it's going to get messy. So. Unfurl sails. I'm going to risk... I don't think you can get dismasted by the weather in this. And let's up anchor. Just get moving. Run with this storm. Yeah. Live in la vida loca indeed. Check them not... Yeah, I'm no more than slightly... Uh, damp down here. Still looks good. Okay. Check the sail angle as well. Match that. Speed set. Course is still good. We should be pretty much straight on course for Chicken Isle. And I think that's it up ahead. And yep, the storm has actually backed off. Maybe. Um. Um. I'm just watching those stars. No, I. Th I think we're good. Next concern is going to be not hitting Chicken Isle. What's the date? I have no idea what the date is. But you're right. There was a mention of a date here, so. By midday the 22nd. Uh, well, today's the 20th, so is that an aurora? 
Yes, I assume it is. And as far as I can recall, you can't get the Aurora Borealis at the uh, Caribbean latitudes. So, yeah, they're taking some leeway here. But Chicken Isle. Hooray for navigation. I'm getting the hang of it. Right, so. Rather hard to port. Anchor. Drop. Boat smashed again. I'm making a habit of this. There we go. Stopping distances? What are those? Alright, I'll... Well... I will check my hull just as soon as I have gotten all the water out. Okay, date on the compass, you say. Well, let's have a look at the compass. I don't see anything on the compass. Maybe on the watch. Okay, however, first concern is not sinking, so if you excuse me, it's bailing time. Again. Sorted. Okay. You know those planks I picked up on that wreck? Yeah, they just came in handy, didn't they? Right, Chicken Island. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need chickens. Hello, you. Well, that's a bonus. Flog that off to the gold holders. I think my next concern is going to be finding some chickens. I mean, this is Chicken Island. You would think it got the name because, it, well, there were chickens on it, wouldn't you? Uh, let's stash this. There we go. I mean, you'd think, wouldn't you? I mean, this, this, this is logical, right? Chicken Island. If it turns out that, in fact, my best option was going to be to pick up the chickens back at Sanctuary Cove, I am going to be somewhat annoyed. But I did get a nice shiny uh, gold carafe, so it's not an entirely wasted trip. But we do appear to be out of chickens. Huh. It's not a very big island. Um, well, that's interesting. Right. So... When I find the man who named Chicken Island, he and I are going to be having words. Sharp words, full of violence and pain. I have just gone halfway across the map on what appears to be a wild chicken chase, and that's a parrot, so it definitely doesn't count. Ha. Huh. Chicken. This is unfortunate. There are any normally small ones. They should be on beaches. Well, I don't see any chickens around here. So let's try one of the. Let's try a different island. Then. 
suppose I can always work my way back up. And it has to be said, uh, Plunder Valley might be interesting, so let's take a look over there first. Okay, way anchor. At least that uh, impromptu stop to get me pointed the right way. Wait, have I got the rudder set properly? Rudder's hard port. That would have been bad. Rudder is now midships. Way anchor again. Sorry, it's on my clock. All right, well. Let's have a look at the clock then. Uh, there's my watch. And it is the 17th, so I've got a bit of time left. Just not very much. Shouldn't be a serious problem. I just have to, uh, well, get to Chicken Island. Okay. Let's check the map. Let's see, Plunder Isle was basically to the west of here, wasn't it? Okay, about to go to Irons, but that's not a serious problem. Midships the rudder, trim the sails over. There we are. Catch up. Tamp for my inventory, that's a bad habit. Okay, well, there's a beach. Let's see if there's a chicken on it. Preferably several chickens. I need one white feathered and one gold. Bring a starboard. Bear up into the wind. Um, that's a cannon. I I think as keep out gestures go, that one's pretty clear. Don't think we're going to find any chickens there somehow. I could be wrong, but I'm not chancing it. You said the smaller islands, Rangers, so... Let's see what's to the west of Plunder Island. Let's just keep going. The locals clearly don't want us there. So what about what about the old salts atoll to the southwest? I should not have left the rudder locked over. Um other hard starboard, it's gonna catch as we come round this. Rudder. Meet her there. Trim sails. Oh, over trimmed them actually. Right. Well, that's a somewhat small island, although I don't much like the look of the shipwreck on it. Let's 
sails. Okay, so good news, small island. Bad news, shipwreck. Potentially better news, might be good stuff on the shipwreck. Potentially worse news, um, yeah, it's a shipwreck and this place has got zombie pirates on it. So, let's come in carefully. On the midships. Scope the place out. I don't see anything that looks much like a chicken. Of course, I could be wrong. Alright, let's dump the anchor and see what we get. What have I just found? Am I going to regret what I've just found? I just put a chicken! <laughs> uh, that... That's a skeleton fort over there. Right, um... Note to self, chicken, stay focused. That might be why it's displayed the ominous riddle over there. That looks like all kinds of pain, doesn't it? And since when was it, there was zombie, ah, chicken. The requirement was that the chicken be alive, wasn't it? Right, let's go and get the coop. And you know for what I think I think for once I've managed to heave the boat too without smacking it into something. No. No, 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 you are not getting any ideas. Ow. Uh. It's getting ideas. Right. Excuse me. Where is that shark? Under the boat, right. Um, hmm. Cannibal. Load cannibal. Load cannibal. Make sure guns are properly shotted. Now, where did that shark go? Also, where did my bananas go? Right. Shark. Hey, little shark. Come in, little shark. Come in. Actually, not very little shark at all. It's it's buggered off. Right. Okay. Uh, let's grab some more ammunition then. I'm hoping it will have thought better of it, but somehow I don't trust my luck. You know, I think it might actually have buggered off. Fine. Excellent. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The chicken coop. That was why I came back here in the first place. <sighs> right. One chicken coop. Next stop. One chicken. Which I did sight over here. Assuming somebody hasn't run off with it. 
I'm gonna get you a little chicken. I'm gonna get you a little chick. Because I've got a contract. Uh, right. Uh, which of those is the right kind of chicken? Also bounty skull. Golden chicken. Get back here. Get back here. Right, is it meant to be the le does that mean the left mouse button? Yes, it does. Got it! Okay, let's go and get the golden chicken back onto the boat. Preferably without the shark eating it. There was also a white chicken there as well, which is the other kind I need. And hopefully it ca hopefully it's not going to drown on the way back. That would be inconvenient. And I'm also going to grab that bounty skull while I'm there. Flog that off, make a bit of cash on the side. Because, hey, there's no harm in getting paid twice for the same trip. Or even better, three times, since I've got that gold carafe as well. Okay. Up we go. Plop down one golden chicken. Yes, yes, yes. You can protest all you like. And it's probably going to, all the way back to the island. Now let's go and get the white chicken. The white chicken. Call me Ishmael. Okay, back we go again. Should probably have anchored a little bit closer, but... Well, considering that four out of my last five anchoring attempts ended with the boat either taking damage or being a dead loss, I'm I'm being a little cautious here. Okay, chicken. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Ooh, floating rum. Where are you? Right, white feathered chicken. Get here. Got it. Now, there was also the small matter of the bounty skull. Okay, let's get this back to the boat first. Then go and get the chicken. And then head to the drop-off point. Simple, really. If I find if I find a chicken as large as the white whale, I won't be trying to turn it in. I will be reporting it as an abomination of nature and going and getting a fleet. That will be on the par with unleashing the quacken. Is that, it's not even anatomically possible. Something about the square cube law getting in the way. Ow! What the? Oh yeah, shark. Forgot about that. Ah! No, 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 no! Don't fall in the water, you stupid... Phew! Right. Excuse me. That shark has interfered with my plans for the last time, except the cannon can't actually depress far enough. Fine. Well, in that case, we'll just nom another banana. Actually, probably nom two bananas, under the circumstances. And then pull out the pistol and go and risk it. I'm going to have to Actually, I could just save myself some trouble here. Unload the cannon. Load myself into the cannon. I think I can do that. Oh, wait, no, I... I'm sure there's a trick. Yeah, climb into cannon. Yeah, that was a bit quicker. What's the date? Oh, yes, that's a good point. Uh... Still the 17th. So I've got plenty of days left in which to get the uh, chicken. There it is.
The shark, however, will not be answering for its crime. Yeah, you know, I could explore the wreck while I'm here. I've got the time, after all. The fact that the lights are on is a little disconcerting. But hey, it's an abandoned shipwreck. What could possibly go wrong here? Especially when I've got spare cannonballs. And I think it's mostly scenery, honestly. Just random stuff. But there is a ladder here. Let's take a look up at whatever was the captain's cabin. Or at least the quarter deck. Oh, oh journals, books. Not much of immediate interest. Hmm. Let's see. How not to hit an island. How to unleash the Kraken. Uh, he's... Well, he didn't read the first one, did he? Right. Okay. Retrieve the chicken. Let's get where we need to be. Should just be a short sail back. Of course, this does involve a swim through a water that's already got at least one shark here that has a distinct taste for humour. I just hope it doesn't care for chicken. Oh, right. Yeah, it turns out the chicken does not like it if you dive, so... Um, we'll just be staying on the surface until the... Uh, making sure the chicken does not drown. Uh, the contract, I believe, does require the chicken to be delivered alive, so that is a problem. Right, climb the ladder. Okay. Two chickens, one cursed skull, and a crab. Right, now, where did the contract require me to deliver them to? Golden Sands Outpost. Let's see where that is. Uh... Golden Sands Outpost. There it is. So. Need to set course more or less north until we pass Wanderer's Refuge, then turn northwest. Okay, shouldn't be too much of a problem to do that. Also, douse the lanterns because I do not want to give myself away at this point. We'll keep... I should be even going to kill the lantern in the hold. And yes, I am aware that a ship that sails without lights is invariably up to no good, but... Okay, check my bearings. Rather to port, we'll steer south to start with, then turn north once I've cleared this rock ahead. So, set sail. Set the bearing. Raise anchor. Yo ho ho. Okay, there we go. Clear the rock. Midships. Starboard rudder. Sail around her and due north. Wind is still catching. Through the west. Wind's starting to fall off a bit, so trim the sails. Trim the sails, I said, not dance across the deck. Meet her. There we are. Course set pretty much north on the dot. Retrain the sails. There we are, sailing on the broad reach, due north, on the way to deliver the cargo. Might be getting the hang of this. Just have to get a crew together. Or at least find a crew that's mad enough to take me on. Pretty much the same thing, really. Yeah. 
sail trim is still good. Just hope we don't broach. Still looks good. We're not shipping more water than is necessary. Check the trim again. Yeah, that skeleton fort looks distinctly unwelcoming. I'm actually backing slightly off to the north at the moment. So correct that. There we go. Sail trim still looks good. Crazy floating skeleton cloud of doom is thankfully nowhere near here. What? Don't tell me they're complaining about something relevant. I thought they were leaking down here. I honestly don't know what you lot are moaning about. Okay, check the map. Okay, right, need to bring course back to due north. Either the rudder is not quite centering, or there's something up with the trim of the sails. Oh, that's a nice touch. The wind pressure is actually yawing me off course. Midships rather does not necessarily mean going straight ahead. There we go, that seems to have it more in balance. So let's kick one point onto the lee and then rebalance. There we go. Uh, sails can't quite handle this, but. We're getting as bad as good as we can on this course. The problem is beam reach like this and keep a very close eye on the course. The rudder is just about balancing everything off. Check the map. Yep. Course is looking pretty good. Yo ho ho! Right. Well, since we're waiting. We interrupt this program to point out two things. Firstly, there's a rock in the way. Secondly, we're sailing straight towards that storm again. And we all know how that ended last time. And this time around, I can't save the chicken. So, past Wanderer's Refuge. Just the rudder. Check the sail angle. I think, no, it's as far to port as it can go, so can't get any more out of that. Not without coming about. Right. I should be having... Look, you saw what happened the last time I had a spot of rum. It did not end well. In fact, I actually need to turn northwest at this point. So... Need to change course anyway. What shall we do with the drunken whaler? What shall we do with the drunken whaler? What shall we do with the drunken whaler? Lying in the rain. 
Sail into a storm in a leaky bucket. Sail into a storm in a leaky bucket. Sail into a storm in a leaky bucket. A lie in the morning. I, I know the chicken's no happier about this than I am. At least that's the port up ahead. Yes, I don't know the tune to that one, Scizor, which is probably for the best. Um, there are the docks. Okay, the storm is actually passed, so coming up on the Golden Sands outpost. Reduce a half sail. Deliberately turn us off the wind. And harder starboard. Let go anchor. I've done it again. I really, really need to get somewhere on the concept of stopping distances on this boat. Uh, and there's one here that's still shipping. Not sure how this section of the hull broke when I smashed the other side of the ship, but there you go. Right. Has everything stopped leaking? Yes. Right. Store the wooden planks. Grab the bucket. Secure the boat again. And then deliver the chickens. So that's principally what I'm here to do. Or any faster than I'm dumping it. Right. Okay. Priorities reef sales completely. Let's get the chickens delivered before anything else goes wrong. The boat I can replace. The chickens, as we discovered, somewhat less so. Yes, I know, I know, you can't swim. Yes, I know there's another hole on the boat somewhere. Um... Right, delivered to the Golden Sounds outpost. One white feathered and one feathered. Right, let's get the other one off the boat. Can I see if there's a hole from outside? Uh, must be another hole somewhere. Let's take a closer look. I think the fact that the chicken is still panicking is probably a hint. I don't see anything else that's shipping water. Unless I punched a hole somewhere on the main deck. But that shouldn't be shipping water at all. I think I've smashed holes everywhere there are holes to smash on this boat, honestly. So, bucket time. Okay, it just needed one more shot. There we are. Okay, right, chicken. Uh, 
Oh, stop panicking. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, the fact that the Golden Sands Outpost is actually all the way over here. And I even remember where I left the blasted chickens. So, let's go and turn these in. Golden Sands. Hello, Golden Sands. This does not look promising. Okay, check the sides. Traders are this way, apparently. Okay, this is actually quite a big outpost, all things considered. Nice parking. Yes, thank you, Ranger. The boat is still there and it's still usable. I consider that to be a pretty good shot. And I'm on the wrong side of the island to, well, everyone else. Hi, one chicken. One golden chicken. Oh, wow, that did pay. Okay, so note to self, the trading uh, runs pay better than the uh, actual piracy runs. Who would have thunk? Let's go and get that other chicken delivered. Oh. Wow, all the way up to Merchant Alliance 4. Handy. And I am a gilded merchant. Well, maybe. Just need to go grab the other chicken. I left it around here somewhere. Cluck! Cluck! Cluck. There we go. Okay, drop off chicken, get paid, sell loot, get paid again, and then I think everything is just about set and done for this first stream, and if I can manage not to get lost that will be doing extremely well. Where are they anyway? Ah, oh, there they are. Trade stuff in the dock, and this should complete the voyage and hopefully get me paid. And if you can get rid of one very panicked chicken, that's fine by me. Be quick, time's precious. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Thank you. One chicken coop. Woohoo! Voyage complete. Okay, note stuff. Golden chickens are worth somewhat more. Okay, and that. Yay! Woohoo! Right, made some money. Got some friends, well, a friend in the Merchant Alliance. And of course, Goldfinger here. Well, he might forgive me for balking the mission. However, next priority is getting some treasure sold and then calling it a night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. There may well be more see of these action, especially if I can get my hands or at least my greasy mitts upon a crew. They will be, I think, necessary. This really does benefit from being co-op multiplayer. Um, is that my ship? Uh, yes, it is. But... Until then, just remember... Never drink th too much grog. Also, watch out for cursed artifacts. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, farewell.